The disaster in Texas in the wake of Hurricane Harvey is deepening. Houston is a city in crisis and now a city of islands. Overnight, more than four inches of rain an hour coming down. Millions waking up to a scene of epic flooding and tens of thousands calling for help, needing rescue. Um, help will be there and we will help bring all of this back after this is over. The National Weather Service now predicting some areas to get 50 inches of rain and saying in no uncertain terms, quote, this event is unprecedented and all impacts are unknown and beyond anything experienced. That person is on their roof. They've been yelling help and hello for the last few minutes. Thousands more trapped inside their homes amid rising water. Houston's 911 call center overwhelmed. Oh, yeah, gotcha. The water came up so fast. It was incredible, like the amount of water. Residents going door to door to check on their neighbors, helping them and their pets get out. Another hot day in Texas. Um, this video is actually a bit different and actually, you know, very sad as well. This, we're inside of a hospital that closed down due to the hurricane of Harvey. Har Harvey was a category four hurricane that hit Texas really hard last year in 2017 and left this place completely abandoned. Now we're starting off on the top floor of this hospital. I'm not gonna get into this hospital. It closed down because of Harvey. Um, but the first floor, is ridiculous. I mean, it is so bad, full of black mold because the water, I mean, the whole first floor was underwater. The second floor is safe. That's why it's still so mint in here. We're gonna, we're gonna explore the whole top floor. We're gonna go straight down to the bottom, but we're gonna leave. We're only gonna show you like two rooms and we're getting out of there quick. The whole place is just full of black mold. Not asbestos, it's, a new, it's, re, it's pretty new, but just black mold. And that's really bad. Just imagine Hurricane Harvey hit Texas like this. It's really, it's really sad. It's just like um, filming those disaster videos on Chernobyl or Fukushima. It's it's pretty. It's kind of similar, but obviously different. Different disasters causes obviously different abandoned places around the world. So this is one of these videos where it's like, damn, you know. I remember when I did uh, New Orleans, uh, I filmed uh, Hurricane Katrina, some abandoned spots because of that. It's just insane. But this is like still new, so we can see that this is so mint. But we're going on the first floor dead zone down there. It's, it's, it's like a horror movie down there. It's because the whole entire first floor to the ceiling was flooded with water. And they were like, the city was like, this, is, this can't be fixed. We, we're just gonna keep it here for now. We don't know what we're gonna do to it. It's gonna just remain closed. And that's what they determined. It was just way too much money to fix it. And now this place is completely just sitting here left. So let's just get right up into this video and explore this place. So one thing that we do know is right away is that everything on the top floor and whatever they could fix and repair on the bottom floor has been removed. All the beds have been recycled and even their ventilation systems, everything, the whole system has been removed. We're actually in like an apocalyptic place. I said this a lot, you know, it's like, oh wow, it feels like we're in like, you know, like a, a zombie movie. And, but this is, this is one of these disasters where everyone had to really just up and leave and go. Imagine all the patients had to evacuate from this hospital and leave and, and just go get out of here, evacuate. That's what happened here. This is like the real deal. It's even scary to see the date. 2017, you know? Just all frozen in time. This guy was on morphine. This was his room before he had to evacuate. When we go down to the first floor, we're gonna put these gloves on, put the surgical uh, suit on, and even wear like 10 of these little masks. I mean, I know they don't do much, but it's definitely gonna help a bit just to get the heck out of there, down to the first floor. Our teamwork makes the dream work. One last show of this section before we move over to the next place. This place is actually pretty big. Not that I would. I mean, I just get the chills. Look at that. 
When they had to evacuate, they just left the food still in the trays. The nurses. Ooh, what's this? No idea what's in these jugs, but they are filled to the top. The staff lounge. There are mailboxes. I don't want to show their names, just in case. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we can just pig out and eat all their food, like... <laughs> it's, oh man. Can't get over this. These are one of these videos that's gonna like, kind of like open people's eyes. You know, a lot of people did see the hurricane on, online, like the whole world seen it, and they're like, yo, please pray for Texas, please pray for Houston, and then that's it. But when you're actually in it, and you're filming it, and then you show it online, like people are like, damn, like there's still abandoned spots in Houston or in Texas because of this hurricane. It's like, whoa, like yeah, it was so bad. And to just be here, in it, right now, even though the hurricane's been done with, and still see places that are affected and hasn't even been repaired, it's still a mind-blowing experience. And like I, like I said, I've, I've done so many of these places due to different disasters that it's like, yeah, like I, I, I know, like this is horrible. I've never been in the Hurricane Harvey. I've never been in any hurricane for that matter, but I, I feel you guys, man. Like it's insane to, 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 to even experience or be out here. But also, also is definitely like a mind blowing experience. It's like, well, like so much history happened here because of that disaster. And you can still see like why go on the first floor. The whole thing's black mold flooded because all the water infiltrated it and just filled it up. And then, you know, a year later, we can still see that and actually walk the first floor. Um, I'm trying to compare anything like that, uh, but it's just, it's, it's still like a mind-blowing experience. And it's a, definitely a wake-up call, you know, you got to be th thankful and grateful for everything you got. Because this kind of disaster can, honestly, it can happen every, anywhere. Earthquake, tornado, hurricane, um, you know, different things like the whole nuclear reactor thing. So, I mean, everyone's just got to, man, we had that one world, one love thing. So it's all about just donating, helping each other out. There's different countries that has so much earthquakes and everything that goes on. It's insane to see like so much abandoned places are out there, or, you know, like the Chile earthquakes or down down in Mexico City when they had that earthquake. Uh, I had friends down there and then they were telling me like what's going on. So, I mean, this whole world has these crazy disasters. And, you know, um, I think for me, like going into these disasters and filming them, is a, is a good way to show you guys like yo this is this is it like especially the guys who watch me all the time and then they see me go do it they're gonna listen to what I what I say and like I'm trying to do good by showing you all what's going on but also I want to document a year, a year later and show like statuses and how this is doing and how this happened and I don't know it, it's I, I like doing it but also I feel like it's a bit it's good it's meaningful because I'm now I'm documenting this this hospital and why it's destroyed and who knows what they're going to make out of it. But then you're going to see this video a year later from now still on YouTube. Like this is how it was from the disaster. And now look at it. Maybe it got renovated or something. So many people's files are in here. I even seen someone's ID. Look at this. It's unbelievable. You know, this is how you know it's new because look at these surgical lights. These are like some of the newest ones that are out. If you watch my American Horror Story, you've seen that one big, huge, just bulb in the middle. We even got some equipment in here.
Oh wow. Anesthesia tray. Everything's still inside all the cabinets. Look at this section. Got a warm tint here, sun shining through the side. Any beds? Nope. Any beds here? Nope. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Oh, wow, there's a pipe that burst. It's still leaking water. That is not good. Look at this. All right, so I think we about explored the whole entire top. I'm gonna go gather up everyone and get everyone to wear these suits so we can go downstairs. I thought about it and definitely is a good idea. So right now we are gearing up to go inside the underworld. You know, I, I completely thought of this title as we're going, The Stranger Things Underworld, because here it's like all, you know, it kind of looks normal. But then downstairs it's like destruction and darkness that you're about to see. Completely reminds me of the underworld from Stranger Things. So, that's why the title is called The Underworld. So what's your thoughts right now? My thoughts is getting to fresh air and back into the real world and making it out alive. Yeah, I, f I feel you though. I mean, when you go inside these like places, it feels like you're not even in Earth anymore. Like you're in like, sometimes you get like fantasy anime type game vibes, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and you don't even know what time it is anymore. You don't think about anything except the place that you're in and when I come out it's like whoa it's this time already like you don't even know anymore this is it okay. you ready look at this guy so they covered this just to keep the black mold away from the yeah. upstairs floor and we didn't do this by the way it was very like that just so y'all yeah. know okay okay let's do this into the underworld Mask on, boys. Actually, you need to charge quickly because I don't have any light. My phone just died, too. Don't worry, I'm blasting it now. Full power light. So you can already see the mold everywhere. Now, explorers, just remember this whole thing was filled to the top with water. So we got patients on this side in rooms. Follow me, sir. I will. Large conference room. There's a, the projection screen right there. You want to show it for your cam? All right, we got a laboratory over there to the right. You know what that means? Good chance that there's a morgue there. Really? If, yeah, I'm gonna rush there really quick. We're gonna just show off this morgue if there is one here, or we're just gonna bust out of here. Laboratory's this way. Now everything here, guys, was covered completely underwater. That's why there's mold growing. Jeez. That's not it. Here we go. Oh my god, we are not going in there. That's we are a death not. Trap. It's a death trap. I don't even. Nope. Nope. Put that back up. 
decontamination room. Jeez. Yeah. Decontamination room? Yeah, I don't even wanna... I'm getting out of here. Yeah, we're just aborting mission trying to get out of here. There's so much freaking hallways. Oh! X-ray in use. Oh! Dude, you scared me! There you are. Dude. Oh my god. We found the x-ray room though. Operations 4. Should be out of here now. There's gotta be a way out of this one. What the hell is that? I can't even see it. Oh my god, I'm so glad to be out of there. That place is the worst place for black mold I have ever seen in my life. And that's why you gotta gear up and wear masks and do whatever you can for any abandoned building. This, the way, there was no asbestos in this one. Just black mold, but that's all, that's all it takes for cancer or anything. Um, I did what I could. I was only down there for like 10 minutes tops. I mean, it's unbelievable down there. I geared up as much as I could. I did forget my mask, that's my fault. Um, if I had my mask on with all that gear, would have been perfectly fine. But I still know I'm okay. I don't, headache, no nothing, I'm good. Good video overall. Hope you guys do subscribe to RNK. Subscribe to Steve because we are heading now from Texas. I'm not even gonna say where I'm going next. It's a secret. We'll see what happens next. But also, I don't know if I said this, but Mo is no longer with us. He flew back to Canada, so it's just us three for the rest of the remaining trip. Um, we're going head. We're heading right back to Long Island.